Good morning, everybody. We're back in the shop and we're getting ready to leave towards Saskatchewan. We gotta go to Langbank, Saskatchewan, which is just inside Saskatchewan from Manitoba. Five to six hours from here where I am. I gotta go grab the trailer, hook onto that. It's those tires that we picked up in Burlington, Iowa. They need to be delivered tomorrow morning. So we're gonna get there tonight, sleep there, deliver it in the morning, and head straight back home empty. Uh, then I have a week off. Uh, we got some exciting things going on in this coming week. I'm taking a flight out to Louisville, Kentucky uh, for a day, just a day. And then I'm flying back because it's my son's birthday. Uh, it's his birthday. And then we have his birthday party on the weekend. And then we have a doctor's appointment the following Monday. So it's a, it's a big week. And in there sometime, if I have time, which I probably won't, I'd like to come in here and uh, get some work done in here too. I might take the Tuesday off too then. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I've taken enough time off this month. I'll probably do it next month. I need to take a day off just to work in here again and get some things uh, cleaned up. I'm gonna throw throw things out. This is an old treadmill. Uh, not even sure if it works anymore. I've got to get rid of that. A lot of this is garbage. Not everything, but some of it's garbage. And there's no point in holding on to garbage in my shop. I'm gonna purge. Yeah, I need to purge and get this place cleaned up because my son is gonna get old enough to come visit me here soon and he's going to start remembering and taking note of how his dad takes care of his spaces whether it be the inside of my truck or the inside of my shop and when my son's old enough to come here and uh, understand what's going on i want to be able to present to him a clean shop clean organized shop clean organized semi truck to put that in his mind as the representation of normal to him in his mindset. He grows up taking care of things and keeping things organized and clean. So I have to set the example. That's how our kids learn the most. I learned the most too by watching my parents grow up. Look what I ended up doing, right? My dad's a truck driver and here I am too. I'm sure there's a correlation there. I'm sure there's something, something along there <laughs> that brought me towards trucking. So whether or not he wants to be in trucking or not, I don't know. It'd be cool. I'd love to be able to run a business with him one day with several trucks and a little, little tiny fleet of trucks with him. That'd be cool, but we'll see what he wants to do as he grows up. But what I want to do for sure is present to him a lifestyle of keeping things clean, neat, and orderly. Real quick, before we get started, today's shout out goes to our friends at Beaver Bitcoin. Beaverbitcoin.com slash Trucker Josh is where Canadians can go to stack Bitcoin. It's a non-custodial site, so you buy Bitcoin from them and they put it directly into your own personal wallet. Go check them out. The link is down below in the description below the video. Let's get back to it. And that is definitely not what I am presenting now. Not by choice, but just because of time constraints. I haven't had the time. We have a, we have a baby at home. So uh, obviously I'm gonna prioritize that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here when I should be there. My time with him is limited already. And he's watching this video in the future anyways, maybe. There's a lot to go through, but if you are, Theo, hopefully I have presented a better image in your mind of how to live your life uh, and this is, I understand life sometimes gets carried away and things get messy. That's cool. But we always strive to make things better, make things clean, make things presentable, and be proud of the spaces that you occupy. You know, take care of it, take care of things. So I've got a lot of work to do yet. Uh, this is going to the house in summertime. All of this stuff in here, that's a shampoo for the carpets in the truck. Yeah, all of this stuff just needs to find a better home. This is my drum set. Yes, I play the drums. I haven't in years, but I did take many years of lessons when I was younger. I used to play in a couple of bands around here and stuff. That is getting sold eventually, and I'm probably going to sell the motorcycle too when I'm ready. Because the money for these two is going to go into a side-by-side -side that we can use as a family. Yeah, anyways, enough of this. This is a vlog channel. I'm honest that I'm not perfect. I, I have a messy shop right now. 
we'll fix that. So I got to book off a day for that. Probably next month. I already, I'm already taking this week off. I, I shouldn't take another day to do this. I'll put it in that. I'll put it into a different pay period. I think so. So I'm going to get old blue started up here, get her warmed up and we'll get my trailer and we'll head into Saskatchewan. Let's go. onto the trailer and uh, the sun is starting to go down. It's almost 6.30. That's pretty good that we still have so much sunlight out right now. The times did change, but Saskatchewan is now lined up with Alberta time in mountain time. Saskatchewan doesn't have daylight savings time. They don't change their clocks because they're smart. They're smarter than us. We should be doing that too. Not changing our clocks, but we do. So for winter time, Saskatchewan time comes back to Manitoba time to help us stay warm in central time through the winter. But in springtime like this, they spring away from us and hang out with Alberta in mountain time to have fun all summer until next winter when they come in. So that's how I remember. So right now in Saskatchewan, they're on mountain time. So let's get going. I think I'm going to fuel up in Headingley. It's my cheapest fuel on my route today. I was in a rush to get home. Uh, we fueled in St. Cloud, Minnesota last. Maybe I should have topped it off on the way up. Grand Forks, but it is what it is. Didn't have time to stop again, so now we're gonna top up the tanks, head there, head back, and we got some other stuff to take care of. You gotta love watching the sunset directly in front of you as you're driving. Beautiful. Terrible spot. That's a terrible spot for you to set, Mr. Sun. Oh man, you have to almost stare straight at it, right? Man, going straight towards the sun. It should be down in about five minutes. The road's gonna turn before them. This is the south perimeter going around Winnipeg, headed west. About four and a half hours of driving. I can stop right at the customer and sleep right there overnight, which is the bonus. Wake up in the morning, I think they get there around 6.30, so I'll get up around 6, make sure that I'm all ready to go, get my load all ready to be unloaded. I might even take the straps off tonight so that they can just go to town. As soon as I get there in the morning, start unloading. Get the paperwork and try and shoot the way back home. I want to get home as fast as I can. last night didn't I <laughs> sorry guys 
Uh, I didn't say good night. So sorry, were you okay? We ended the vlog, uh, well I'm here at the customer in Langbank, Saskatchewan. And I gotta unload these tires, it's the morning. So we're gonna end this here, we're gonna start the next video. Uh, shipping and receiving is just in there, I'm gonna go check in. I'm gonna go around the corner there and get these tires that I have on my trailer. Off my trailer, because I wanna go home. This is my last load before some time off. I've already explained this to you. I don't know why I keep explaining the same things to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I repeat myself. Sometimes I forget what I've already told you, and I tell you like five times. But anyways, I'm gonna run in here. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Uh, let me know how you're doing today. If you wanna support the channel one step further, click the Join Now button below my videos. Uh, you can read more about how you can go to the next level, become a member or a premium member and get early access to videos. Uh, if not, if you leave me a comment down below and subscribe, it's free and it's the best thing you can do to support me. Helps me get my videos out there. Actually, one more free thing you could do for me, if you like me, and uh, if you really like my videos, click that share button down below. Share it to your Facebook, share it to your X account, wherever you want to share it. Just share the link out to your friends, whatever you want to do. I give you absolute blessing to go and do that. <laughs> It would be a blessing for me if you would do that, I guess. I gotta go. We'll see you tomorrow.